After nine games of qualifying, we have the leaders of the pact. We have Dino Castillo, Shannon Kluhowski. You guys ran over the field today after game one, shooting 278 and 290. Did you know that you were just going to take off and run after that game one? No, I, you know, the scores were high. I mean, we shot 560. We were only in the lead by 30. So we knew this was going to be a track meet, so we needed to keep the pace up. Shannon did, Shannon did most of the work, and I just kind of rode her coattails. With that being said, after game three, you two set an all-time record of mixed doubles, shooting 1647. How did that feel? How does that feel? We had no idea, really. We just were bowling, trying to keep pace with the field, and everybody was texting and saying, oh, you guys just broke the record. And so he was like, well, you want the good news or the bad news? I'm like, well, I got good news. So I told him we had no idea. So, But it was definitely fun. So from that point, you guys kept rolling forward. I noticed next game you shot 279. I mean, you guys, I mean, what was in the water this morning? You just, I mean, we got a lefty, we got a righty. I mean, obviously we got the male-female thing going on. The chemistry, have you guys bowled doubles before? I mean, what's, what is it with you two today? Well, you know, today was going to be uh, an adventure for the right-handers. Uh, there's a few lefties. Uh, this pattern uh, typically plays well for the left-handed. You know, but this house can can make it tough for the carry. Shannon had the right deal going. She started she started off early with a jigsaw, uh, and then she changed uh, to a ratchet, and she did the right deal. And my ball kind of got cliffed, but you know I started with the innovate early and it worked out. And it got kind of tough, so I had to make some make some different changes. Uh, but I worked with I worked with Shannon when she was on tour, so it was kind of easy to be able to bowl with her because. She knows that I, I'm able to talk to her and help her out. Obviously, I didn't need to help her out, but just keep just kept kept smiles on her face and kept smiles on my face and make it easy for us. And uh, how do you feel switching partners with that? Uh, you know, you were with Tommy last weekend. Now switching over to Dino. Tommy's a little more well. We we won't say quiet, but Dino's a little more outspoken. Right. How, how do you how do you feel about de bowling with? Uh, I was going to say dealing with Dino this weekend, but bowling with Dino this weekend. They are. Different, but they're similar because they like to have fun, and I think that's why Tommy and I bowl good together, and Dino and I bowl good together because they keep it lighthearted, so it, it never becomes pressure filled, and that's definitely an advantage when you're having a partner that you're having fun with. All right, well, going into tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is uh, 12 games match play. Um, you obviously uh, have got a nice little number uh, ahead of ahead of the pack, sitting at number one spot, um, plus too many. Um, how, what's your strategy for tomorrow? Huh. Frame by frame. Many frames left tomorrow. Anything can happen with the bonus pins and 12 games. So it's one game at a time. We don't look, we're not looking ahead. We don't care if we were up by one pin or up by a thousand. It's still one game at a time. And make sure we just keep our heads straight and look forward. And Shannon? Like you said, one game at a time, anything can happen. We've seen it happen at Lucy where the 30 bonus pins mean a lot. So just to you know, do our best to make the shots and play the lanes the way they should be played. All right, you two. Well, we look forward to see what you guys have for tomorrow. I'm sure more excitement yet to come. And you guys do not want to miss out. Tomorrow we are going to be starting at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard, live on Extra Frame. Do not miss out. This is the powerhouse Jackie Bowling.